Well, hello there again, friends. Today is 5-21-2022, and today is the Odin Project Vlog Day 106 Part C. <laughs> Another bonus video for you. Um, I have the time today, so I better just keep cranking these out. Um, and I'm a glutton for punishment, so we're going to do this one live as well. Um... I wanted to backtrack for a second and talk, uh, go over briefly some of the things I was getting hung up on in the previous video. I wanted to clear it, clear it up because I'm sure you guys will mention it in the comments if I don't on the previous video, and that's fine. I'm not perfect. I don't, you know, intend to be perfect and never will be. Um, but uh, to clear that up, one the the, the uh, main issue I had was uh, I had the script tag. In the wrong location so I had it up in the head and I read more in the documentation and um, I found that it was supposed to be in the body so I put it into the body and I removed the defer switch because uh, I'm thinking that it needs to be ran right away and not deferred um, because there was for one there was no defer in the uh, documentation for this and also it was in the body so I went ahead and just mimicked, mimicked what they had exactly and then the second major, even bigger issue I had was I was um, mistakenly putting the wrong file in there. So what I was trying to do is link the current uh, index.js to the index.html in, in dist, um, which works, which was actually the right mindset, the right thought, um, based on what we have now. But it, it said specifically, and I skipped, I just read over it, I guess, uh, but in the... Um, in here it says um, the main.js is a file that will be used to generate that will be generated by Webpack, meaning it hasn't been generated yet. <laughs> so it wants you to be proactive, basically, uh, since we haven't bundled anything yet. But it wants you to get into the bundling uh, setup. So you want to basically map to a file that doesn't exist yet. So main.js will be created from the bundle. Uh, but it hasn't done, been done yet. So that's why I changed my source to main.js, which as you can see in dist here, there is no main.js because it hasn't hasn't occurred. So um, yeah, so that's why I fixed that. And the second thing, I was on the right track. Um, I had the, I created in the last view the git dot, uh, dot git ignore file, but I didn't do anything with it. Um, and I researched that and basically found this neat little stack overflow and it was pertaining directly to the node modules uh, file your folder that has all the files in it and so what we just need to do is add that file that folder as a name inside of git ignore and it will and git will not pull will not uh, push and pull it uh, so that's exactly what I did so I went in to get ignore dot get ignore when I created that in the last video and then this video uh, I added the node underscore modules which is right here and that will um, be ignored at then so it won't be uploaded and I tested this already and it works great um, I've already uh, pushed everything to git uh, or github through git via git if I always say that wrong I apologize so you see here I've already done all that and you see there's no folder for uh, node modules so that that works so with that out of the way let's go ahead and get into the next section um, right here it says uh, set up an HTML skeleton inside a dist index.html with a single uh, div ID contents element so let's go ahead and do that I have already created the boilerplate and as you've seen in the last video so all I'm going to do is just add this and I don't really think it matters where it goes what I, at this point I didn't see anything in the documentation as far as an order or whether it needs to go before script or after the script tag for for um, the bundler so I'm just gonna stick it after again we're doing this live so um, if that becomes an issue we'll correct it as we go um, I'm not gonna do all these videos like this but these these step alongs right here seem like they work better for a live a live um, environment so that we can kind of go through it together um, errors and all um, but I won't do this for the entire series um, this probably 
maybe the last video of like this. But anyway, number three, we're going to insert uh, inside of source index. Let's get there. Source index. Here we go. Uh, we are going to write a simple console.log or alert statement and then run npx webpack. So let's just do console.log. This is my console.log statement. Uh, from source index.js. Sure, why not? Okay. Save that with Control S. Okay, we got all our files currently saved. And load up, uh, okay, load up uh, this in HTML in the browser and make sure everything's working correctly. Okay, let's just try that. So let's run uh, npx webpack. Okay, I get these warnings. I've gotten them before. It's because of my mode. Because um, the mode has not been set. So I'm not too worried about that at this particular moment. So there's that. And now it says to view it in the browser. We don't currently have it up, so let's go ahead and um, view that in the browser. I won't run live server like I normally do because I think that's going to conflict with what we're going to do next. So um, grab dist and oops, and throw it over here, and nothing. <laughs> okay. What did I do wrong? That's storming pretty bad here. Lots of lightning and thunder. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. Make sure everything is working correctly. Disindex. Disindex. Did I not save something first? Should say that console.log, I would suspect. What do we have going on here? Uh, okay. Okay. Emitted. Initialized. That's weird. Um, let's see. Again, I should have probably done this before. Why isn't this showing? Oh, it's console log. Duh. Sorry. Dur dur dur, having a dumb moment there. Um, there it is. It's my okay. Wow. <laughs> like I said, I probably won't be doing these much longer as uh, in this format. But um, with all the steps, it, it, little EBD steps, it kind of makes sense to do it this way. So there's that. Sorry for that blipping thought. Okay. So we did that. And quick t tip number two: if you run npx webpack dat dash watch you will not have to rerun webpack, webpack every time you make a change. Okay. Um, so I think we can probably, I looked that up in the uh, docs, and we can actually build that watch mode in here and just hit, and then instead of having, having to type in webpack watch, we just do watch. But I think for now, since it didn't say to do that, we'll just go ahead and not do that. But I'm betting you it would work. So let's just try what they say. So if you do npx, I'm just going to copy this. You would not have to rerun the webpack every time you make a change. OK, so first let's just make a change to this. Let's just add a ha ha at the end just so we can see that. Save it and then run this, uh, paste this, watch. Okay. 
emitted index mode has not been set okay you can also set it to none and disable okay I'm just reading through this same thing as it was before oh okay so that's that's what we read in the um, documents so it's got a running uh, it's got a running council here if you see that the, the cursor's got no uh, nothing before it so it's actively listening I forgot that's how you can do that okay so that would be how you could uh, create the shortcut in the config file where you just type in um, if you did that you then just type in uh, uh, M NP is an MPX would be NPM uh, wa run watch but okay uh, we'll just stick with what it has so now if we check it out in the browser sorry I'm bouncing all over here on you uh, go back to restaurant page um, since we're not running any type of live server we have to refresh it and there's haha -ha. so just to double check it put an exclamation point in the end here we'll see if that um, terminal updates um, does it is it verbose I don't think it is I don't think it is let's see here let's try it real quick sorry I'm feeling froggy right now um, let's go ahead and watch this and see if it updates as I save it It's not verbose, so it's just sitting there listening. Um, I was just curious. So refresh this. Ha ha. Okay, cool. All right, well, that's cool. And that completes uh, step through two and three. So next time we'll go into four, and I probably will stop doing the lives on these. Uh, I'll probably pre uh, uh, pre-scripted, uh, pre-coded, if you will, is how I normally do it, or normally say it, but, um, because it looks like it's going to be getting more into lots of code and, and back to the traditional style of doing things, so, uh, hope you enjoyed the ride today, and enjoyed all the videos, the bonus videos today on Saturday, so I don't know if I'll do another one today, it's, uh, been at this for quite a while, and I've got some other things i got to get done today, but, uh, there's always tomorrow, Sunday, for me, so, Probably will put something out there uh, for you tomorrow. Uh, so with all that said, uh, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. And let me know in the comments section how you guys are doing so far with uh, this project, this little mini uh, restaurant page and using uh, Webpack. And so until next time, see ya.